Hello ladies and gentlemen, in today's video I will show you how you can create this awesome typography design using PowerPoint. Let's go! So ladies and gentlemen, as promised, let me show you how you can create this awesome typography design using PowerPoint. Inspiration for today's video come from this website called designballs.com. And as a reference image, we will be using this awesome design. So let me just copy this image and paste it into a fresh blank slide. Let's crop this image a little bit so that it takes up less space on the slide. And let's put this image somewhere at the top left corner of the slide. Now let's just fill our slide background with this beautiful light color from the reference image with the help of the eyedropper tool. And now the first step is to insert a text box. So just grab a text box and type in anything that you want. For example, parallax, because parallax is a cool wor word. <laughs> And now let's give it a font size of 160 and for the font I'm using Milkshake. If you don't have Milkshake font, don't worry because fontsquarrel.com will help you out. Link is in the video description, feel free to download Milkshake font. Ok ladies and gentlemen, the next step is to take care of this queue. Let me explain by drawing a red line on this original image. Let's just give it a red color and some weight. As you can see in the original image, all of the letters are skewed. So now we have to find a way how we can skew our text in PowerPoint. So just select your text box, go to text effects, choose transform and choose effect called stand up okay click on it and as you can see your text box is skewed a little bit but not perfectly so just grab this white bubble at the top of the text box and click a couple of times you know upwards i mean drag drag would be a more precise word drag it as many times as you want and when you have it perfectly you can delete this red reference line I think it looks beautiful. Okay, now let's convert our text box into shape. So we can do that by first of all drawing a big rectangle and let's fill it with any color so that we can see. Okay, now let's send this rectangle to back and while holding down the shift key let's select a rectangle and the text box go to merge shapes and choose intersect. This way we have converted our text into a shape. As you can see, we have many points. Okie dokie. Now let's grab the eyedropper tool and let's fill our newly created, you know, text shape with this brown color. Let's duplicate our text and let's fill the second copy with this black color. Now with the help of the align tools, let's align it perfectly on top of each other. And with the arrow keys, let's move this black copy a couple of times to the left side, something like this. Now let's add a white outline to our black text. Let's choose white color and for the weight, let's set it to four and a half points. Now let's duplicate this black text, remove the outline, set the outline to none. And let's place this last black copy on top of the rest of the text boxes. And now let me pause here a little bit to explain everything a little bit better. So now we should have three layers of text. So the brown at the bottom, in the middle the black one with a white outline and on the top we should have the plain black text without outline. Okay, so let's continue. And now let me show you how you can create this beautiful highlight on each of the letters. So once again, copy the black copy of the text. Let's make it brown. Let's duplicate it once again and let's make it black this time. And now let's position both of these two copies on top of each other. And with the help of the arrow keys, 
Let's move this black copy to the right side just a couple of times. Now with the help of the selection tool, let's select these two last copies. Make sure you select the brown one first. Then go to format, merge shapes and click subtract and you should get something like this, the highlight. Now let's just position this highlight on top of the rest of the text and let's select the highlight and just move it a little bit to the right side so that we can better see the highlight. Awesome! Looks beautiful! Now ladies and gentlemen, let me show you how we can create this nice striped shadow for each of the letters. So first of all, let's go to the selection pane, this way it will be easier to select the last layer which is brown text. So let's duplicate it and let's move it somewhere to the bottom. So for this copy, let's remove the fill from the text. And let's just leave the brown outline, something like this, okay? Now let's go into a new slide, let's just insert a new slide and here we will create our stripes. So just basically draw a very thin rectangle, let's make it something like 0 0.5 or 0 0.2, so it's really thin and now we just, yeah really thin rectangle like 0 0.1 <laughs> and now yeah let's just duplicate it many times and make sure that the gap between the rectangles is pretty small and just by hitting down the control D you know copy a million times okay now let's just select all of these stripes let's align them to the left let's make sure that the vertical spacing is equal and now we can go to format, merge shapes and union so it will become one shape. Now let's just copy these stripes, let's paste them into our slide, let's rotate these slides a little bit. Now let's position it so that it covers the whole you know, text, let's send it to back. And now with the help of the selection pane, first select the last brown layer, the last brown text and the stripes, so brown text and the stripes. So go to format, merge shapes and choose intersect and this way you will get a nice striped shadow. Now just put this outline text on top of this uh, striped shadow and you will get the final result. Awesome ladies and gentlemen, now you officially know how to create this awesome, beautiful typography design in PowerPoint. And by the way, I have created a few more designs in PowerPoint and I have placed all of these awesome designs in my newly and freshly opened OneSkill store. Here you can find awesome t-shirts and hoodies for women, men and every one of you my dear friends. If you would like to grab anything here, feel free, I highly appreciate your support. Link is in the video description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.